Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to wait for an alert to be displayed on the web page. So let's get started. So in order to perform some operations on the alert, we have to first wait for the alert to be displayed on the page. Without waiting, if you try to perform the operation on the alert, and if in case the alert comes with a delay, Selenium will not wait for the alert by default, and it will give you some exceptions. To avoid that, first we have to wait for a particular alert to be displayed on the page. Once we wait and the alert comes, then you perform the operation on the alert. That's what is the proper strategy. So let me take an example here. I'll open this application, say omai.docspot.com. Okay. So initially when I open this application, the page loads and uh, the Selenium will wait for all the elements on this page to get loaded. Until the page loads, the Selenium will wait by default. Okay, that's there. In Selenium Python or any other Selenium programming language kind of thing, Selenium by default waits until this page completely loads. The page completely loads when all the elements on the page gets loaded. Initial elements on the page should get loaded. Until then, the page keeps on loading and Selenium keeps on waiting until the page loads. Once the page loads, the task is done. Selenium is not going to wait by default for any other stuff going ahead. Okay, now, after going to this application, after Selenium waited here by default, now if you click on this button, the alert is coming. When the alert is coming, you see this something that is not there earlier, right? When you click on this button, this alert is not something that is there earlier when the page was loading. Now when I click on the button, is the page loading? For, to display, this alert is a page loading? No. That means Selenium is not going to wait for the alert, right? And that too, it is a JavaScript alert. It's an asynchronous kind of stuff. Okay, it doesn't depend on the page load kind of stuff. So Selenium is not going to wait for the alert to be there. There may be some situation where after you click on this button, the alert may take some time. Okay, the alert may take some time to get displayed on the page with a delay also alert with a small fractional delay also there may be there for the alert to get displayed on the page. And by the time Selenium may not wait sometimes. It's better that, it's better that before you perform any operation on this alert, you first wait for the alert to be displayed on the page, then perform any other operation like retrieving this particular text from the alert and say, okay, or accept, accept the alert, etc. Okay, before performing any operation on the alert, after you click on this button, first wait for the alert to be displayed on the page with the help of waiting mechanism in Selenium Python, wait for the alert to be displayed on the page. After waiting, then once the alert comes and the Selenium confirms that uh, alert came and waiting is over, then you perform the operation on the alert. That is a proper strategy. Okay, let's automate this. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. So I'll copy this application URL from here and uh, paste it here in the get command. After going there, then, you know, I will click on this button, click to get alert button, inspect this. Okay, so inspect this. Uh, this ID is there for this button. I'll copy this ID locator for that button and simply click on the button. Driver dot find element pi dot ID, give the ID of that button and simply say dot click. Once I click on this button, an alert will come. But here, we should not directly perform. After clicking on the button, don't directly perform the operation on this alert. There may be some situations where the alert may come with a delay. Okay. And Selenium will not wait for the alert by default. So it's better that we'll make the Selenium wait for this alert and then perform the operation on the alert. For that, I'll write this code. That is, I need to create an object for web driver wait. And here, I'll pass the driver and maximum. Um, general alert will, you don't have to wait so much of time, like 30 seconds, maybe five seconds is more than enough. Okay. You have typed on wait is equal to, and with the help of this object reference, I'll call this until command and inside this until I'll write expected conditions and say dot alert is present. Wait for the alert is present. This is the command guys. Okay. This is what is a command that I'm going to cover in this session. That is, we are waiting for the alert to be present on the web page. Okay. So we are waiting for this alert to be displayed on the web page or present on the web page. For that, this is a command. And you don't have to pass any locator here. Alert, uh, generally, alerts will not have any locators or something. So here, simply, what alert can be only one item at that time, right? Or there cannot be multiple alerts displayed on the web page. So, so whatever the alert we have to wait, just Selenium will wait for a particular alert to be displayed on the page, okay? Some alert is going to come, it's going to wait something like that, okay? You don't have to provide any locator here. Now, after waiting for maximum of five seconds, okay, for the alert to be displayed on the page, once the alert comes, you see, this is smart wait only. If the alert comes, it will not wait for the, even the five seconds also. If alert comes in one second or less than one second, 
uh, there it will understand that alert came and the, you know the remaining script will run okay you don't uh, it is a smart way anyhow then you perform the operation on the alert simply write down driver dot switch to dot alert and here i'll say al al stands for alert let's say al dot text i would like to read the text from this alert retrieve the text from the alert so alert text is equal to al dot text and i'll just print it out print after waiting for the alert then we are performing the operation once the alert comes only we are performing the operations on this alert if the alert doesn't come here you get an exception so i'll show you that also later so we'll print the text on the alert. after that i want to accept the alert al dot accept i will say the alert will be accepted so fine so driver dot switch to alert and all the stuff then here so after before accepting the alert i'll just for demo purpose just to see whether the alert came or not i'll give three seconds before accepting the alert and here after accepting the alert we'll quit the browser Okay, so here also just for demo purpose, I'll add time dot sleep just for the demo purpose only. In real time, you don't have to add this. Just for me to show you how this works, uh, I have to do that. Run this code. So here in this example, we are making the Selenium wait for the alert to be displayed on the page, then only perform the operation on the alert. Click on the button, alert came. After that, it will perform the operation on the alert and accept the alert, and then it will close the browser. This is what is the thing. So this is how we have to wait for a particular alert to be displayed on the page, to be displayed or present on the page. Okay. So next thing is, what if the alert doesn't come and if you still wait, okay, here you are waiting for an alert, which is not going to come. Let's say I'm not clicking on this button. Okay. I'll just uh, comment this out. This particular line I'm commenting means what will happen after going to this page, you are not clicking on the button means alert will come. Not, it will not come. If I don't click on the button, alert is not going to come here, but still I'm going to wait for an alert. If there is no possibility of getting an alert and if you are still waiting for the alert, what will happen? It will give an exception. Okay. It waited for the alert to be there for maximum of five seconds, but alert has not come. So it will give some timeout exception or something. Okay. Run the script. Wait for maximum of five seconds. The alert has not come. So it will wait for five seconds. You see, finally the alert came and it gave you which exception timeout exception. Okay. That's what is the thing. So guys, you understood how to wait for a particular alert to be present on the web page in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.